My favorite pole is always the pole that I'm working on at the moment, because to me it's a challenge of doing the work. It's not the finished product that's important. For the last 22 years, I've been in here producing all the artwork that the tribe needs. The tribe here that I've worked for primarily is the Jamestown Sklalem tribe. We've made 64 totem poles so far out of this building. Basically, it's similar to European heraldry, where it's like a coat of arms. So the images on the totem pole would have declared who the clan is that's in it, who the people are that live there. A typical job is four to six months. First thing you need is an idea, cedar, tools, paint, and labor, and sweat. <laughs> Each pole is different, so sometimes they're historical, sometimes they're telling folk tales, sometimes all the figures on the pole tell one folk tale, sometimes each figure tells a separate story. I never set out to be a totem pole carver. Over the years, it just slowly evolved and it turned into doing this. I spent thousands of hours in the museum studying the old stuff, I've read everything in print that's ever been printed, plus I've done a lot of carving. <laughs>